Hello, this is Kai Hua Qin, and I'm a PhD student at Imperial College London. I'm going to present our paper on the just-in-time discovery of perfect generating transactions in DeFi protocols. This is a joint work with Li Zhou, Anton Kali, Benjamin Lifshitz, and Arthur Gervais. The invention of blockchains promotes the development of the so-called decentralized finance. DeFi is a financial system on top of a smart contract-based blockchain. The mechanisms and the logic of DeFi protocols are programmed in the smart contracts that are publicly verifiable. Because of the smart contracts, DeFi has a special trait called composability compared to the traditional finance. Composability means that a trader can execute transactions over different DeFi platforms in one blockchain transaction. In a diagram, I present an on-chain upcharge, which is a typical example of DeFi composability. Here, Avi is a lending and borrowing platform. Curve and Uniswap are on-chain exchanges where traders can swap one token to another. DAI and USDT are the so-called stablecoins the price of the stablecoins are pegged to the US dollar. As we can see, the trader can borrow 100 DAI from RV and then trade twice, leveraging the price difference between Curve and Uniswap, and end up with 102 DAI. The trader repays 100 DAI in the end and leave 2 DAI as a profit. All these actions can be operated in one blockchain transaction without being interrupted in the middle. The DeFi composability allows DeFi participants to profit by, for example, leveraging the price difference across different on-chain exchanges, as I showed just now. However, this is not an easy job when facing various DeFi protocols. Here, I list only a small proportion of DeFi platforms in the ecosystem. There are much more exist or are currently emerging. So we can see exchanges, derivatives, lending and borrowing pools, and each of them can have different implementations and contracts. Even two markets serving the same pair of tokens can have different pricing formulas. Moreover, when a new block is mined, the state of these platforms may change. So the discovery of profitable transactions should be done within the block interval. As a reference, Ethereum, one of the major uh, DeFi hosting block blockchains, has a block interval of about 13 seconds. This makes the attack even more challenging. Therefore, we propose a framework called DeFi Poser that allows us to efficiently identify profitable transactions given the blockchain state. Specifically, we propose two methodologies to achieve this goal. One is DeFi Poser app, where we build a directed uh, DeFi market graph. We identify the negative circles in the graph with the Bayman for the algorithm, and the negative circles can be turned into profitable transactions. The other one is DeFi Poser SMT, in DeFi Pose SMT, we formulate DeFi actions into symbolic state transition models. We set a target profit for a sequence of DeFi actions, which you call a pass. We use a theorem prover to figure out if such a pass can be profitable or not and find out the corresponding parameters. I will give more details in the following. I will start with DeFi Post App by giving a simple example. We have four on chain markets differentiated by colors, and they support trading of different pairs of tokens with a price of P1, P2, P3, and P4, respectively. We have a unit of token A, and we can do arbitrary trades among these four markets. Our target is to profit, which means after several rounds of trade, the output amount of token A should be larger than what we input. 
One option we have is to first trade A for B in the red market, which has a price of P1. After the trade, we now have P1 amount of B. Then we can trade the P1 amount of B back to A in the blue market at the price of P4. Then after the trade, we now have P1 times P4 amount of A as output. Recall that our target is to have more than one unit of A, hence the profitable condition is that the product of P1 and P4 is greater than 1. Alternatively, we can choose another trading path. Similarly, we start with trading A for B in the red market at the price of P1. Instead of directly trading back to A in the blue market, we can trade B for C in the yellow market and C for A in the green market. And we end up with P1 times P4 times P3 amount of A. Again, the profitable condition is that the product of P1, P2, P3 is greater than 1. To summarize, we find that the upcharge trades typically forms a circle. By circle, I mean the trades start and end with the same token. Then we can easily calculate the profit by comparing the input and output amount. We also notice that the markets can be built into a graph, where every node represents a token and every edge represents the price. Instead of using the price value directly, we assign the edge as the negative logarithm of the price. Recall that the profitable condition is that the product of prices is greater than 1. The condition is then equivalent to that the sum of negative logarithm is smaller than 0. In this way, we translate the profit generating task into a task of detecting a circle whose edges have a negative sum. And we can use the Behrman Ford algorithm to solve such a problem efficiently. Now we turn to DeFi Poster SMT. In DeFi Poster SMT, we formulate DeFi actions into symbolic models. Unlike DeFi Poster App that only supports exchanging actions, DeFi Poster SMT supports more types of actions like borrowing and margin trading. We can introduce more complex constraints into DeFi Poster SMT. For example, the borrowing amount cannot exceed the total amount in the liquidity pool. In this way, the, um, the output of action pass can be expressed in a symbolic formula with several symbolic constraints. We also add an additional objective constraint that the final profit of this path should be greater than a specific target value. So intuitively, uh, given the fixed path, we want to figure out the action parameters that yield the profit greater than the target. Or we want to ensure that the path cannot generate that much profit. We can use an SMT solver to solve the constructed problem and if it's solvable, the solver can also give us the solution parameters. We apply a binary search to find out the maximum profit. That means if we set an infeasible target, we load down the target value, otherwise we increase until the target value converge. And this is how we solve for one pass. And we can then um, brute force search all the possible paths and identify the profitable ones. However, given the number of DeFi actions, it is computationally infeasible. We can apply some heuristics to prune the number of paths. For example, a path shouldn't include any loops. I recommend to check out the paper for the complete descriptions of our heuristics. To evaluate the DeFi poser, we pick 96 actions from several DeFi platforms with a total of 25 assets. We run DeFi poser up and SMT on every block 
from the 13th of December in 2019 to the 12th of May 2020, over a total of 150 days. To eliminate false positives, we validated our results by executing the transactions on real blockchain state. We find that DeFi poster app can detect more than 70,000 USD weekly profit, and DeFi poster can profit nearly 30,000 USD per week. Although DeFi poster app is easy to implement and appears to be able to identify more profitable transactions as shown in the table. We find that DeFi Poser SMT can capture no cyclic strategies and uh, it, it is able to detect the BZX attack opportunity that happened in the January of 2020. More details are presented in our paper. We've shown that given the blockchain state, traders can generate profitable transactions efficiently. Different traders may com compete for one opportunity, attempting to extract the financial value. In this competition, miners have huge advantages because miners have the right to sequence transactions in a block. A miner, for example, can put its own profiting transaction at the top of the block and the profit is guaranteed as long as the miner mines the next block. Such financial value is called MEV, Minor Extractable Value. MEV is a financial reward in addition to the block reward and the transaction fees. The existence of MEV hence may impact the mining process. In our paper, we show that MEV opportunity is equivalent to a double spending opportunity. We can use Markov decision process that was widely used in the double spending research in the past few years to analyze optimal MEV strategies. We show that MEV opportunity may incentivize miners to deliberately fork the chain, which endangers the uh, blockchain consistent security. For example, a miner uh, uh, MEV three times the block reward uh, incentivizes a 10% miner to fork the chain. We also show that the biggest MEV opportunity identified by DeFi Poser could have caused severe forking competition, which is a worrying sign. That's it my presentation. Thank you for watching.